Hey there, wonderful people. Sending a big hello to all my dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. I trust you're all in high spirits. I've got a fresh video lined up for you today. Let's jump right into it. Today, we're diving deep into solving that pesky audioge.x issue that might have been giving you a headache. Good news? The fix I've got for you is permanent. Just apply it once, and say goodbye to the problem. I've run tests on both Windows 10 and 11, and trust me, it works like a charm. If your computer's sound has been scratchy or distorted, stick with me, and let's squash this bug for good. I've prepped a program for you, coded entirely in Python, ensuring smooth and hassle-free usage. But here's the fun part. This video isn't just about using what I've created. I'll walk you through how you can write, or even enhance, this program using Python, ensuring it runs flawlessly on your device. Before we dive in, you'll need two tools, Python and Visual Studio Code. Don't worry if you haven't got them yet, they're available for download from their official sites. And to make our tutorial streamlined, I've already got them installed and set up. First things first, ensure you've got the PSUtil library installed. Just run pip install psutil. Now, diving into the code. Import psutil. We're importing psutil, a handy library for working with processes. For process in psutil, process underscore iter, pid, name. We loop through all running processes, checking their names and IDs. If process.info, name, equals equals, audio dg.x, we're specifically looking for any process named audio dg.x p equals p sutil process process.info pid once found we interact with it using p sutil p nice p sutil high underscore priority underscore class here we boost its priority to high p.cpu underscore affinity 23 then we assign it to cpu core 23 this is tailored for Windows, so adjust if you're on a different OS. Print, changes applied. A final print to confirm our changes. That's it. Super straightforward, right? Stay tuned for more. Alright, time to put our program to the test. Go ahead and save your code, then run it via Visual Studio. Got an error? No stress. This is expected. Our program requires admin permissions to work correctly. If you peek at the error message, you'll notice it's picked up the program's PID. Good news, that means our script is on track. Ready to level up? Let's convert our script into a Windows executable. For this magic trick, we need a Python library. Pop this command into your terminal. Pip install pyinstaller with that done. Give Visual Studio a quick restart. Remember to save your work. Once you're back, Execute this command to transform your script into a standalone executable. PyInstaller. One file audio.py voila. Your code is now ready to roll as an executable. Alright, we've crafted our program, and it's time to test and run it with administrative privileges. Success! It's running flawlessly. Now, let's automate its launch with admin rights every time the PC boots up. Here's a step by step guide. Open the Task Scheduler from the Windows Start menu. Select Task Scheduler Library on the left. Go to Action at the top, then choose Create Basic Task. Name your task and provide a description. Click Next. In the Trigger section, pick when the computer starts, then Next. For Action, choose Start a Program and proceed with Next. Input your program's path in the Program Script field, e.g., C path, to your executable.x. Hit Next and Finish with Finish. Back in the Task Scheduler library, find your new task and click on it. In the General tab, under Security Options, select Windows 10 from the Configure for drop-down. Tick the Run with Highest Privileges box. Confirm with OK. There you have it. Your program is now set to auto-launch with admin rights every startup. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more lessons, please subscribe to my channel and support me by giving a like. Take care of yourselves.